All right. It's not 2 in the morning on Friday or Thursday. This is actually an all-new episode. I'm just wearing the same exact outfit the next day. Uh, I didn't even brush my teeth today, honestly. Um, I'm mad. I can't say who it is behind the camera, but I'm mad that she doesn't know that. It's one of my employees and, 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 and partners, and she's shy and doesn't want anyone to know she's behind the camera. So I'm not going to mention her name during the video, but we're back for Ask J episode 24. It, it's Friday the 13th, so my outfit is still appropriate, right? Three days in. Um, I had an awesome day. Yesterday, had an amazing call with... Uh, about 12 of my staff members from around the country um, from Jay Morrison Academy and Jay Morrison Real Estate Partners. I um, had everybody on the same line. It was just great energy. Um, it was kind of our, our, our kickoff prior to our launch for our company. And I was really proud that to be in a position where, you know, I have a brand with, you know, multiple initiatives, multiple companies under it, and just great people working with me. And we're doing great things, making big a lot of noise. So... I want you guys to see my face, so I'm like putting my hood back, but I really want to be like this, but whatever. So anyway, the motivational message of the day is, I talked about wealth has no look already, right? So we talked about that. So just because you see me all hooded up and in my black sweatsuit don't mean I don't got no wealth. It just means I'm chilling right now on my grind, so respect my grind. But your motivational message for the day is, I didn't even plan it, so let's think. I like to give you guys how I'm feeling for a day. I don't just write down like pre-planned motivational messages because then it's like, it's not organic. It's not from my heart, from my soul. Um, I would say how I'm feeling today is that whole, I guess I'm kind of back to the same thing of hard work pays, but... I would say this, I'm gonna use one of our wealth DNA principles today. And that is see it, vet it, check it, do it, right? See it, meaning you having a vision. So I remember over two years, about two years ago in November, November two years ago, I had a vision after I did one of my wake up videos on World Star, and I got like 300 and some emails from people around the country and even the world from different countries asking me to mentor them and be there or, or be my apprentice. And I felt, you know, flattered by that. And um, it felt into responsibility to try to help people. But I knew I couldn't mentor everybody at one time. And I came with this idea for like, yo, why don't I just start my own school? Like, why can't I start a school? And so I got with some experts and some consultants and learned how to put my own school together. And we started the Jay Morrison Academy two years ago this month. Well, you know, the idea came, and in, a, and in a month, I created the format to roll out with our first soft launch and pilot, which uh, I formed a company in December. So December makes two years of the company, and January 8th makes two years the company actually started its first classes. So just saying, I seen the vision, but in the process, after I seen the vision, I vetted it. I mean, like, I checked it out. I scrubbed it. Like, hmm, does this make any sense? Is this possible? Like, how can I fund this? How can I make a return on my investment? How does it work for my students? How does this whole school infrastructure work? Can it be financial aid? How do we do scholarships? How can it be online? How do we protect our material? And you know all these different intricate questions. And I poked holes in all of them and it all worked out that, you know what? It's a way to do it. It's a way to do it where the school's affordable, where it's authentic, where it's unique, where people can actually co correspond with their mentors. It's a way to put private communities where students can network and build together. It's a way to package all my knowledge and information and put it in one space where people can be able to reference it and learn and grow and make money and feed their families. And it's a way I can scale it and bring in other courses, which was, which was always my vision. So long story short, I seen it. I had a vision. Then I vetted my vision. Then I checked it. I double checked it and I triple checked it before I went head with it. But once I seen it and I vetted it and I checked it, I did it. And that's what every business, every property, every everything. And sometimes in that, you might take a loss. But that means you second guess yourself when you see something, you vet something. You're not stupid. You're not slow. God bless you. You're amazing. I'm amazing. So when you put your two cents on the table 
and you really look at something and do your research and you read up on it and see what other companies are doing it or how is it working or are you the first person to ever do this idea whether it's a new invention or new whatever it is that's okay you could be the first one to come up with facebook or instagram or a watch or a, 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 a flying car whatever the hell it is like you could be the first to do it you could be the first one to flip a house a certain way or knock down a house and build a new one or do a condo conversion or straddle options in the, in the stock market or whatever it is you can do it see it vet it just do your research make sure it makes sense and if that makes sense then check it and then triple check it and then do it that's some motivation message of the day don't get in your own way if you see something and you check it and you look it out and it makes sense take action you don't need somebody else to co-sign you you don't gotta be with the side aisle or what everybody else think like uh 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 you already checked it you know you vetted it and you know it made sense and then you checked it and triple checked it and you know it made sense. So what you waiting for? Do it. Take action. Anyway, first question of episode 24. Ask Jay. I'm Jay Morrison. I got to come up. I need a better name for myself, man. Because I feel like, I don't know, like mentor to thousands, hero to the hood, like new role model, big bro, something. I need something like that's like a, ah! but whatever. I'm me, the guy that loves you, servant to the people. And ask Jay question one. What we got? First question from Twitter, uh, at Joshua Carter, LLC. I own my own property business. How do I suggest I, how do you suggest I partner up with real estate companies to get more work? Perfect example. I own a property management business. I want to partner with other real estate companies because I know if I partner with them, real estate agencies, real estate investing agencies, mortgage companies, title agencies, real estate attorneys, if I partner with them as a property manager, they can be a filter source for me to bring more clients, right? You see that vision. You know it makes sense. You vet it. Well, what are the pros and cons? What's in it for them? How can I make this happen, et cetera, et cetera? Then you check it, then you do it. All that's missing in that whole equation right there is doing it. What do you mean? How do you do it? Go do it. Go Google search. Go drive. Pop in. Go hop in any local mortgage company you see on a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Make a list off Google of 15 of them. Call them or just walk in, bring pizza. Like, go do it. You know you need the relationships and go build them. Take action. Next. Next question is from IG from La Fala States. What are your top five things you believe an entrepreneur should do as a daily routine? Mmm, that's a good question. That might be one of my top, ask Jay top five questions. Um, top five things an entrepreneur should do uh, as a daily routine. So, one is that if you're doing your own marketing, from the morning, start your marketing off the jump. You want to get your marketing funnel going. Like, so if you wake up at seven, but you don't put your first Instagram post up or Twitter post or Facebook post or YouTube or whatever it is your marketing channels are, if that's not going out until 10, 11, you just wasted four hours. People could have seen your service, product, your face, your brand. And if you got Hootsuite or one of these automated services that come out, all that's good too. Then have them scheduled for early. So just make sure your marketing machine is working. Or if you have a marketing intern, just make sure that your marketing is taken care of early. Because um, you always want your business machine running. You are the pulse of your business. Uh, two, what should be one, is get on your knees and pray and thank God for another opportunity at this. Because some people don't got the opportunity due to illness, death, imprisonment, imprisonment uh, bankruptcy, loss of business. They're an employee right now. They're not an entrepreneur. Can't afford to be an entrepreneur. Too scared to be an entrepreneur. So thank God that he gave you the, the courage, the insight, the strategy, the wisdom, the revelation, the guidance to be in this space. Um, so that should be one, really, to start your marketing. Um, three is that I don't do enough of it, but you should stretch, work out, stay healthy, because again, you're the pulse of your business. So if you're not healthy and your pulse goes, your business goes, right? Um, or at least a large part of it, because you should be a, a big talent add to your business. Um, so that was three. Four, um, for me, I mean, I check my emails from the night before, day before, whatever, or of the morning of. And like I just, I kind of, basically, I do an overview of everything. I do an overview, overview of all social media, all email channels. I just like get my day started, just like knowing like everything's set. And then now it's like, all right, press go, I'm on to-do list. Uh, 
So like that, that kind of overview is very important. And then as an entrepreneur, what I do is I call my executive assistant and I get a rundown of my task list and see just and synergize my task list and just see where I'm at. And I also get a daily um, revenue report. So every morning I get a report on my finances and I check my money every single day. All accounts, all revenue. I just see where we're at, what's missing, what's due, what's coming up. Just stay on top. Again, pulse of your business. So those are kind of five things off the top of the dome freestyle of this Ash J segment.